Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a family is going to have four children, find the probability for each of the following events and the first variant is the family has exactly two male children. And uh, today I'm going to show you a shortcut how to solve such problems where in a problem we have up to five children as um, variants of the different combinations. And uh, in my previous videos that I uploaded, I uh, show how to solve such problems, very uh, detailed uh, approach. But today I'm going to show you how to solve such problems when you on exam and uh, there is not much time uh, to solve such problems uh, listing all the combinations. So today I'm going to show shortcut uh, to solve such problems. So let's uh, first find how many uh, combinations we may have so we may have four children so four uh, children I would represent with four empty boxes so each empty box would be an event that represent the birth of the child how many combinations we may have so the first box represent the first child this is going to be the second, the third, and the fourth child. So, how many variants we have when family would have the, the first child? Uh, two variants, it is obvious whether the child can be a boy or a girl. Second time, when they would have a child, once again, they also would have two variants, whether it's going to be a boy or a girl. And uh, two variants, every time they would have a child. So, in order to find a uh, number of combinations of the different sexes of the children, we have to use a product rule. We have to multiply all these independent probabilities. So, 2 multiplied by 2 would be 4, multiplied by 2 would be 8, multiplied by 2 would be 16. So, total number of uh, combinations uh, of the different sexes in this family would be 16 combinations and what these combinations can be the first combination can be that the family all four children all four children would be girls can this happen yes of course this can happen the second variant would be that the family would have three girls and one boy uh, the third variant would be if family would have two girls and two boys. And the third variant would be when the family would have three boys and one girl. And the last variant would be uh, for family uh, to have all four children, which is going to be boys. So, as you see, now we listed all the combinations, but these combinations wouldn't happen with the same frequency. For example, uh, probability of having uh, all four children to be girls would be uh, only one combination. So, girl, 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 and girl. There is no any other variants here. So, if we know that total number of combinations would be 16, this gives us uh, information that probability of this event would be 1 out of 16. We also can say that probability of having four uh, children to be all boys also would be the same, 1 out of 16. And probability that family would have three girls and one boy uh, would equal to uh, 4 out of 16. How do I know? And this is very easy. Imagine that uh, in family of four children, we have three girls and one boy. So how many combinations? We may have the first child, a boy, and then three girls. This is first variant. Then we may have the first child would be a girl, then second would be a boy, and third and fourth would be girls. This is second variant. Then we may have a uh, variant when third child would be a boy and uh, first 
two children would be girls and the last one would be also girl. And also the fourth variant would be when three first children would be girls and the last child would be a boy. So as you see, four out of 16 when uh, family would have three girls and one boy. And the same is true for a family, uh, the, same as prob the same probability would be for a family to have three boys and one girl. Also, uh, a family may have uh, such probability which would be is the same, 4 out of 16. So how many variants we have uh, when we uh, say that family uh, may have two girls and two boys. It is very easy. Uh, so, so far we don't know uh, how many combinations exist, but this is the only one combination that is left which uh, frequency we don't know. So let's find uh, all these combined frequencies. Total number of uh, combination 16. So uh, 116 plus 4 16 is going to be 5 16 plus 4 16 here 9 16 plus uh, 1 16 here. Uh, so all these combined combinations uh, would be 10 out of 16. So if we don't know the frequency of only one uh, combination, we have to deduct from 16, or we also can say uh, 16 over 16 minus 10 over 16. So the frequency of this combination would equal to 6 over 16. Now uh, we can uh, give an answer the first question, the family has exactly two male children and only this combination would meet our requirements when in a family of four children we have exactly two male children. Here we have only one boy and here we don't have uh, any boys at all. And here we have three boys, it doesn't meet our requirements also of the question and here we have four boys, but we only need frequency of combination uh, that uh, give us uh, two boys out of four children. So this is going to be an answer to the first question. This is going to be frequency and probability of having two boys uh, exactly out of four children. So this is exactly two male children. And the second question, the family has at most two male children. At most male, two male children. So uh, what does it mean? If a family would have one boy out of four children, would it also meet requirements of this question? Yes, because at most two male children and one child, male child, also would meet requirements of this question. But would uh, meet requirements of this uh, question if a family wouldn't have any male children at all. This also would meet requirement of this question. So uh, we have to add all these probabilities. And uh, here is the probability of having all four children uh, being girl. This is probability of having one boy and three girls and two boys out of four children. So as you see, uh, this time uh, we have much more uh, variants here. So we have to use uh, some rule and we have to add and combine all these probabilities. So 1 over 16 probability of having uh, four girls plus 4 out of 16 probability of having one boy and three girls plus six out of 16 probability of having two boys and two girls. So we are going to get an answer 11 out of 16. And this is going to be an answer to the second question. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video, please write your comments, questions if you have any, share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video, goodbye.